Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to poultice and wrap a horse's leg. Well, I'm doing this for an injury, but you can also do this on all four legs for therapy preventative measure. A lot of people poultice and wrap their horse's legs after a show or after a big jump school or just a really hard training session just to make sure that their legs stay nice and tight and there's no swelling that builds up from the hard work. So let's get um, into the supplies that you're gonna need for the best results. And I'll show you with my beautiful model coat. The supplies that you're gonna need. You need a pillow wrap and then your standing wrap, your poultice, poultice papers, which is this brown paper. Um, a lot of people, they also use brown paper bags. Um, you can use paper towels, but it's kind of hard to get off. So I really recommend poultice papers. They're not that expensive. I've had these papers for six months. And then you also want a bucket of water to dip your poultice papers into. It makes your life a whole lot easier. I also should have gloves for the poultice, but I don't have any rubber gloves right now. So I'm just going to put the poultice on with a paper towel. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to remove the wrap. Are you itchy? Do you have scritch scratch? Remove the wrap very easy. Take it off. And I like to kind of ball it up like this because it kind of keeps everything a little bit neater and it makes it go faster. And then you take the pillow wrap off and you find where they start. And then you rip those off. Oh my. Now, as you can see, sometimes it kind of flakes off. Kodak is really not loving this right now. And then to get the old poultice off, I kind of just take my hands and I scrub off the caked on chunks. Then this way you can also get familiar with what's going on with your horse's legs. Important tip about poultice. If there are any cuts, do not put poultice on them because it can cause an infection. I, I think you should talk with your vet or your trainer or decide for yourself what the best thing to do is, um, whether you should even put a wrap on it or not. A lot of times you want the cut to be able to breathe. Kodak doesn't have any cuts right now. Take some cold water and just spray off the extra poultice. And then I'm gonna cold hose him for a little bit because he has an injury. Oh my God, he has an injury right now on this leg. You are going to see that he's got some swelling in the back legs because he's been standing in a stall and I didn't put standing wraps on the back legs. So that's an example of how standing wraps can be beneficial. Now that your horse's leg is nice and clean and poultice free, you're going to take a towel and just dry it off a little bit so that the poultice isn't just slipping right off of the wet leg. Next step is to get your poultice papers. If you're not familiar with how much you need, you can just kind of wrap around the horse's leg and get an approximation. This is probably a little too much, but that's okay. And you get your bucket of water and you dunk the paper into the water. You don't need to soak it. Just get it so it's a little wet, so it's more flimsy moldable. So I'm gonna take it over here and I'm going to hang it over the stall. And then it's all set up for me when I need it in a couple seconds. The next step is to get your poultice and ideally gloves, but I don't have gloves out here. So I'm gonna grab a paper towel and I'm going to open up the bag. This is the poultice. Get in there, scoop some poultice out, start with about that much. First apply the bulk of it to the injured area. So Kodak got a split on the inside. You can put it on the rest of the leg. You can go up as high as you want. You can see why you really want gloves because this gets pretty darn messy. And you can really cake it on there, but you don't need to. All that's doing is kind of wasting money. Um, and then you go over and you grab your damp poultice paper. You're going to thank your very patient horse for being very patient with you while you do this. I like to line up the bottom of it because it's really easy to just rip it off of the top of the standing wrap when you're done. Um, so I just leave the whole enchilada just like this. And since it's wet, it'll stick to itself and it'll stick to the leg with the poultice on. This is the most important part. You gotta do this right or it ain't, it ain't gonna help. For your pillow wrap, you wanna start kind of at the bone, their cannon bone. This is the cannon bone, the cannon bone. And you only put pressure when you're pulling 
This is why he has a splint. You only put pressure across the front of the leg. You never want to pull across the back. That is bad for their tendons. So pull across, and then you kind of roll the standing wrap or the pillow wrap across the tendons, and then you pull, making sure that you've got even pressure from the top to the bottom, and then roll, and then you pull. You always wrap inside to outside. You never want to go, did I say that right? You want to go inside to outside. Yes, yes. And then when your horse moves like this, you just readjust. And now my standing wrap is so far away. Please don't move anymore. Ah, okay. We'll get it on last little pull across only the front. Please stop. So then I can kind of put my knee up against this so that it doesn't slip. And then you take your actual standing wrap. If my horse will ever cooperate. Once again, start on the inside, work across the front only and move to the outside. And I start with the standing wrap in the middle. And then you pull only across the front with this one too. And then you roll the wrap across the back. And then I go down first and you wanna keep as even spacing as you possibly can between the wraps. So like here, here, and here should all have very similar spacing. Pretty taut across the front, but remember, do not pull across the back. So pull right here and then roll. And then when you go back, you wanna make about the same amount of spacing. When you start to go back up, roll across the back, pull, roll, pull, roll, pull, roll, pull, and then roll, and then you Velcro it. And for your extra poultice papers, if you need to, just rip them off. That's how you apply poultice and standing wrap to your horse. The best, most efficient and effective way possible. If you guys like this video, you can go ahead and comment other things you might like to see. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.